Thursday, then a little bit cooler by Thursday next week, temperatures in the mid 60s. John? Well, at the uh, Capitol, protesters being led away in handcuffs over the state's minimum wage. A recently passed New York State budget will increase the minimum wage over the next uh, few years, but advocates for uh, the group One Fair Wage say that this excludes restaurant workers who receive tips. Capitol correspondent Jamie DeLine has the story. At the New York State Capitol on Monday, actress Susan Sarandon was among several ralliers who were intentionally arrested and cited by state police in the North Concourse Legislative Lobby. They are calling on the state legislature to pass a bill that would allow restaurant workers to get paid full minimum wage along with tips. Saru J. Rahman, president of One Fair Wage, says many in the restaurant industry are women. This would allow them the ability to feed their children. This would allow them the stability of a wage rather than having to say, oh, sometimes it's a lot, sometimes it's a little, depending on the shift. So they'd be able to pay their rent, feed their children, uh, and most importantly, actually contribute to the New York State economy. Susan Sarandon says she's happy to help support working and single mothers. I myself am a mother. I have been a single mother. I have worked in a restaurant for tips and I know how difficult it is. They're very, very important and need to be treated with dignity for all, not only the back breaking labor that they do, but what they have to do to communicate and understand and be patient and all the things Then they are your link to a successful business. Sarandon says she's shocked and ashamed that New York doesn't already allow this. The legislation has been around for years and advocates are hoping it will finally get passed before the end of session. So for all of us that love to eat out and are finding on Monday and Tuesday nights, we can't find a space because there's signs up saying we don't have enough staff. We're going to find a lot more workers willing to come back to work in this industry once we pay them an actual wage. However, not everyone is a fan of this legislation. One restaurant worker is worried it would put smaller businesses out of business. And it would be more of a push towards um, less full service and more like counter service because you're not going to be able to pay the same number of people that you have in a restaurant right now and you're not it's going to hurt service overall beyond the fact that it's going to increase the prices of the items to the guests. And if the items are too much, people are either going to go out to eat less or they're going to question why they're more. And if they know that we make a full wage, why would they tip us as much as they tip us now? Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine. Total of uh, eight people from a group were arrested after refusing to move to a safer location. They did receive citations for disorderly mis uh, misconduct there. Uh, the uh, violation